Hey everybody, I am pretty much finished with the uh, my temptress in wolf's clothing. I don't know. I just gotta finish up the the feet and the tapering at the bottom there. Yeah, I, if you can see. Uh, that's an ink wash with a bamboo brush and then the rest is all pen gel pen and, I mean I went through and drew it in in pencil and then uh, went through with my gel pen two pens more or less um, I know she's at an odd at, a, at an odd stance, and this wasn't okay with that, but for some reason I think it works. Um, give you a full shot of it there. Just the way I think she's stepping, I think that, and the way her arm is on the left, I think it just makes sense. It's one of those odd moments where she just is shaped oddly. Um, I really like the way this looks, uh, pen on card on cardboard on uh, this brown paper bag. Uh, it's just it's a big grocery bag. I cut and un I unfolded and cut. Uh, it looks like a wood print. I think. There is one other color in here. This is silver up in the ears. You can you can't even see it. And I was gonna go through and add silver, but I just kept I kept thinking I don't want to screw it up. One of my biggest uh, problems that I've had to overcome is. Uh, Continuing with a piece in a leap of faith, just like I don't know if something's going to work or not, and I just have to trust myself. And uh, that's the biggest. That's the biggest thing I think when I when I do that, and when I'm very comfortable with what I'm doing, and I don't go crazy. Because I'll admit, when I'm when I'm when something's starting to look good, there have been times where I intentionally just screw it up to make it look just as ugly and screwed up as possible. Because I just get I don't I don't know how to explain it. It's like I'm overcome with some kind of emotion, and I just just go ah fuck this drawing, fuck it, fuck it, and uh, as I point to her ass again, and this every now and then I'll I'll try really hard to do a portrait or a figure or something a tree where I'm just I try to focus and make it look I don't want to say as realistic but just to give it I like giving depth because I'm not really going for realism as I am going for it looks like something that could be real if that makes any sense that I like. I like making things look like they have some kind of depth to them. There. It's just funny that I'm working you know, on this. In contrast to this, there's this. Which again, this is a far... This is what I feel fun and comfortable drawing in pen a chick. I mean, this is why I started drawing women figures again lately because it's enjoyable to me and 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 it helps me focus and uh because i'm a dirty pervert what can i say md stands for masturbational dementia i don't know uh and so with something like this it's kind of the same realm where this forces me to take risks 
and just say, fuck it, let's just see what happens. And then, you know, I've started to fill in gaps of the drips with, with gel pen, with gel pen and marker. And some things don't quite work, other things do. But in the end, it doesn't matter because this is what this was. This was meant for me to to just try out all these different things. You know, this was also the first time I was trying out stencils and uh, and um, and drawing on something. Uh, I have three other boards like this, you know, and this was the first one I had started with. And I thought, well, it's a perfect way to break in a few things because I have a game plan of what I want to do with the other ones. So this was a good you know, start to figure out the texture. Because one thing I learned right away was uh, that watercolor will work on this, but I want to keep it as flat, flattened as possible and not use it as liberally, liberally as I did. I mean, you can just see all this yellow. All that. I just literally just let water drip down because I thought, well, I'll get a good wetness going so I can get that watercolor paper bleed. Well, that didn't work like this. This was just a mess and it warped the board. And as soon as it, as soon as I got it damp enough and I started seeing the board warp, I thought, yeah, that was, you know, okay, it's not going to work the way I did. But, you know, I'm still, I'm making it work now. But now I know with the next boards, uh, I'm going to stick to either oil or acrylic and not, or very little watercolor, not as drenched. So, but I have other plans for those. Anyway, I just wanted to share these with you. And, uh, you know, I, I'd like to, I'd like to think that Someday, I'll get good enough and where I can draw something like this in a day. And mind you, this is a lot of detail, you know. And, and that could happen. But regardless of my physical strength, it's still going to always take me quite a bit of time to, to, to finish a piece longer than most people because of my MP. And so I had to make a conscious decision that I accepted the fact that I can't work as hard or as quickly as others. So I have to make the ones that I do create count. I think that's why I started working large again because, or that's why I wanted to start working large because I liked what I did in my sketchbooks and I like to spend a lot of time in them, but they, I, I, they weren't gonna. I don't know. I just thought I could work bigger. And plus, that just felt that just felt like the next best step, and fun to work large like this. Um, but also because if I'm gonna draw something and it's gonna take me as much time and effort as it does, then I want to, you know, I really want to make it show. I want to, you know, really want to give it my all. Chip, chip, cheerio, and all that jazz. Okay. Peace out. Peace out, G.